ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗುರುರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ವೆನ್ ದಿ ಫಂಡಾಮೆಂಟಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದೆನ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಈಸಿ ಇನ್ ಎನಿ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ದಟ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ಅವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ our body is hardware and mind is software so meditation really begins when we are consciously working on the mind external things are necessary but up to a particular limit not beyond that but normally what happens for us meditation means only the physical aspect therefore mind is the place where meditation is happening mind is the place where samsara is happening mind is the place where the truth is revealed and mind is the place where samsara is established everything happens in the mind therefore living in meditation means we have to work on our mind so we must know the genesis of mind how the mind is born so the mind is born when objectivity in knowledge becomes prominent and this objectivity creates a relative subject where the subject object war continues that is samsara now out of this two subject object war we have no control over the objects therefore we should be clear about these things number 1 world jagat number 2 ishwara who created this world number 3 ourselves who are living in this world now about the world we can do nothing there will be five object shabda sparsha roop rasaganda then we can do nothing it is like this second thing we can do nothing to the ishwara who created this world what can you do with it so out of these three factors jeeva jagat ishwara jagat we have no control ishwara we can do nothing about him who remains is the jiva therefore spiritual practice is focusing attention on ourselves not on the world and thereafter we start understanding where understanding is prominent reactions and questions are minimal so what should be living in meditation we must stop reacting to anything in this world reactions are in the form of thoughts and thoughts are in the form of words therefore if we control our tongue for eating and talking 
Tongue is two in one. So when we are taking food, we have to remember, this is not the last supper. There is one more coming after two hours. By this, slowly we start exercising control over our tongue, one part, eating. More than not eating this, not eating that, more than that, the quantity of eating has to be consciously controlled. Then we are living in meditation. Otherwise, normally we come back to the same thing. After taking food, then from the inside the siren comes. If you take more, your stomach will burst. Therefore, Yoga Shastra tells, if our stomach is perfect, our head will work perfect. Madhya Pradesh, if it is maintained, Uttar Pradesh will work. And then laziness, frustration, anger, misunderstanding, all these things have origin in the digestive uh, status of our life. If you observe, the other day somebody came to meet me in uh, somewhere recently. So, yes, Swamiji, I said, before you talk, let me talk. So, I told, um, I told, are you having constipation? First time I met that man. He says, Swamiji, are you a doctor? I said, no. But how did you say that, am I having constipation? I said, from your eyes. <coughs> eyes and skin reflect the status of your digestive quality. A person who is having all the time stomach problem, he is all the time, you know, antar mukhi, no, antar stomach. Therefore, we have to live in meditation 24-7 means first step, sufficient control over our eating habits. Then, second thing, the same tongue which is instrument for expression of the mind is talking. See? Arjuna asked a question to Bhagavan Krishna. Knowing well, yet, why do we go the wrong way? Atha kena prayuktoyam papam charati purusha anichan api varshneya baladivan yojita Under whose compelling force we go the wrong way? Bhagavan says, kama esha krodha esha. The desire and anger, they erupt on the mind, not on the body. But the impact of those eruptions on the mind is reflected in the body. The quality of the skin and the depth of the vision tells where are we seated. Because the mind alone is reflected. Therefore, Dekho Suno Mat Bolo. There is no need to all the time cock, 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 cock. And such people who cannot stop talking with others, when they are in their room, they keep on talking themselves. And as a result, all the energy is discharged. And such a person wants to sit for meditation. Therefore, we have to know the working of the software, the mind, how the mind works. So first step, we have given undue importance to many things. 
whatever we have given importance to that become the cause of disturbances in the mind if we have given importance to something we have to devalue that nobody can do it for us we have to devalue so what is that we have given importance for example we want peace the more you will run away from the sounds the sounds will follow you so what is to be done stop reacting let there be any sounds and this is not only when we are sitting in the first lecture throughout the day so one part we have taken care of now the second part try not to talk to oneself mind expresses as words these things yoga teachers will not tell you they will give you chitta vritti nirodha and the student is frustrated throughout life it will never happen on the contrary this simple technique do not talk to yourself योग चित्वृत्ति निरोध एंड अभ्यास वैराग्याभ्याम तरोध वॉट अभ्यास वॉट प्रैक्टिस शुड बी डन दि विल नॉट टेल दैट अभ्यास वैराग्याभ्याम तैक्टिस दट इज वॉट नॉट टू थिंक यू कैनॉट स्टॉप इट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टॉप थॉट फॉर्मेशन try this technique do not talk to yourself this is not in books we are constantly talking to ourselves such people are called sentimentals meaning ready to become mental give it a try when we are moving around the whole day watch about everything nicely but don't talk to yourself be attentive when we don't talk to ourselves we don't want to talk to others also so these two aspects when consciously practice we are living in meditation the first aspect is do not talk to yourself there cannot be thoughts this should be distinctly um, rooted in our understanding so for this we try another technique think whatever you want to think but one condition don't use any words or think
ಕೇಶ ಸ್ಟ್ರಗಲಿ ಲಿಫ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕುಂದಿನಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಗಲಿ ಓದಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಡೂ ಆಲ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ರಿಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅವೇಕನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕುಂಡಲಿನಿ ಈಸ್ not allowing the thought formation in the mind as a result the mind dissolves back in consciousness because manifest consciousness is mind manifest mind is words manifest words are samsar therefore if we do not use words we cannot think observe this and when we talk to ourselves what do we talk we talk about planning about the future after the meditation class is over uh, i will do this thing and then i will go and wash my clothes and what i will do i will do so meditation is sabun kaha gaya recognize this when we talk to ourselves we divorce from the present and enter the unborn future this is samsara now to make it more deep and firm add one more parameter so first is we are now convinced that when we do not talk to ourselves mind is in a process of dissolving back to consciousness now to strengthen this add one more thing and that is listen to silence so two things together don't talk to yourself and listen to silence this is what patanjali meant ಸ್ಥಿರ ಸುಖಂ ಆಸನ ಖಂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಸು ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ದಿ ನೌ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ದಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ವಾಮಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ nor receiving the garbage when we are told listen to silence means silence cannot be heard how can we listen to silence listening to silence means remaining indifferent to all the sounds so two things together we 
we stop talking to ourselves and we do not react to any sound. The cumulative effect of this is we learn the art of living in the present. Living in the present is not an option. It is compulsion. When we go in the past memories or when we worry about the future, we are struggling to leave the present. But the truth is, we cannot but live in the present. So to remain in the present without efforts is living in meditation. Now, if you become aware of yourself, you will have the following observations. Without any effort, your asana has become steady. It doesn't matter how you are sitting, either on the chair or the floor. Your asana has become steady. Second thing, your breathing has become slow and shallow. Because the asana is steady, the BMR is reduced. Basal metabolic rate is reduced. Therefore, oxygen requirement is minimized. And therefore, without efforts, the breathing is extremely slow and shallow. You are not doing anything. Humility effect of all these things is the weight of your body has increased on the base. This increase in the weight of the body on the base is because that part of the body which was held by the mind, the mind has now given up the shape and the size of the body. Because the mind is not reacting by talking to oneself or influenced by the external sounds. So, the individual mind is in the process of merging with the total mind.
it is this total mind which keeps the functioning of the body where the i is not born so if you recognize this that you are listening to me and yet you are listening to silence because after i speak something there is silence and in this silence neither we are talking to ourselves nor we are getting disturbed by any other sound so the body has become little heavy become steady at the base form vertically no tension anywhere on the body because mind has dropped the shape and the size of the body in this it is a process of undoing and unbecoming when we stop talking to ourselves it is undoing when we listen to silence meaning when we become indifferent to the sounds we unbecome therefore meditation is these two things to being an unbecoming because we undo future is not created when we unbecome the past is the present without the past and the future 
cannot be the present. It is presence. It is being. is unlike the jada samadhi in jada samadhi the person is unaware of all that is happening around if a snake crosses his body when he is sleeping he is not even aware of We are not talking about that. Full awareness. This ultimately is the third eye of Lord Shiva or Rutambara Prajna or intuitive vision. In this utter silence, because we have trained our mind 
then it is quite go to sleep. But now, living in meditation, the mind is not reacting or not going in the past. Therefore, it is quiet. So we have to recognize, is it going to sleep? And if you feel you are drowsing, then go check it. Hold the breath, either inside or outside. When the kumbhaka is done, the mind awakes. The sleep goes away. In due time, because of this abhyasa, vairagya, dispassion, towards things and beings is a natural consequence. This is the meaning of Samadhi according to Bhagavad Gita. Prajahati Yada Kama Sarvan Artha Manogada. So the mind is completely emptied of its content. And the contents of the mind is wrong notions. All wrong notions are about ourselves, about the world, about spiritual practice. About God and about realization. Remain alert about the quality of breathing. Breathing must be slow. happens if we stop talking to ourselves and stop reacting to the sound.
there is no requirement of energy. Therefore, the consequence is slow and shallow breathing. And if the breathing becomes deeper, we are entering sleep. And if the breathing becomes fast, we are getting identified with the body. The contour line of our body has disappeared. Now our experience is remaining formless, shapeless because the mind has dropped the individual shape of the body hence it has merged with the total mind. Like when a pot breaks, the pot space merges with the total space. Even when the pot is intact, at time also, pot space is one with the total space. Then the understanding takes place. That the spot is in the space. Space is not in the pot. Exactly the same thing. The body is in me. I am not in the body. This dissolving of body identification is established 
by repeated sittings and practice. To the extent our body identification is reduced, to that extent possessions and relations will not be the themes of our mind. Atmanneva there is fulfillment. now the body is blocked from the mind. There is no reference for the mind to think. process of undoing and unbecoming remains 24-7. Hence, we have to live in meditation and not do meditation for some time again back to sleep. This is extended throughout the life by when we drop our past, when we don't talk or refer to our past, we are unbecoming. When we don't talk about our future plans, we are undoing. Pana na Nothing to gain, nothing to lose.
body is home at the base, so vertically steady. Do not try to see anything. Do not Label any experience. By this, we unbecome meditator because we undo. It will not be over. This experience is twenty four seven. Yoga Ratova, Yoga Ratova. This poise. remains
ਤੇ ਦੀ ਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਸਲੋਨੀ ਥ੍ਰੀ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਮੂ ਯੂਰ ਟੋਸ ਐਂਡ ਫਿੰਗਰਸ ਰੋਲ ਰਬ ਦ ਪਾਲਮਸ ਵਾਇਲੈਂਟਲੀ ਰਿਮੇਨ ਕੂਲ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ we have not achieved anything on the contrary we have lost everything offer this experience at the feet of the lord don't make any memory of this and thus empty yourself remaining empty all the time is living in meditation we are always filled with past memories and future worries meditation is emptying ourselves and this is the process of emptiness this emptiness will there after like to get filled again the samsara will be empty therefore if we practice consciously with the breathing synchronize short short name breathe in hari breathe out ho so the mind is active but not reactive maintaining this status is practicing meditation 24/7 om purnamadah purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 hari hi om ee gurubhyo namaha